Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict. And I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my channel today. This is a channel where we talk about yarn, we talk about crochet and all the things in between. And today is no exception, we are gonna be talking about hooks. This is my Reader's Digest version of Hookapalooza. So I dig in a little deeper with the hooks that I have here. My favorite hooks, my least favorite hooks, what I don't like about them, what I love about them, and all the things. So if that is of interest to you, please stick around and watch this video. And if you enjoy this video as much as I think you will, please hit that like button, subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed, and hit that notification bell to stay current with all things regarding me and my channel. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and get started. Okay, friends, so we are going to start this off with showing you some of many hooks that I have here. I guess we will start off with some of my favorite hooks to use here. And these are the prim hooks. We have G, H, J, K, and L. They don't carry an I for some reason, but... These right here, my friends, are the ones I use the most. Um, the great thing about these crochet hooks is the beveling on the side. It makes it very easy to work with. Many people who use these hooks will tell you how nice and easy these are to work with. There's long necks, the handles are ergonomic, they're very nice, and they're color-coded, and also the sizes of each hook are imprinted on the end. So these are very nice hooks. I highly recommend them. You can catch these um, at Michael's. Use a 40% off coupon when they have a 40% off sale. You can get these for 5 to $6 uh, each if you catch a sale. If not, they go to upwards of $10 a hook. Um, but the smaller ones are cheaper. You can find the smaller ones for like $6. Okay. Next, I want to talk about another set of hooks that are my favorite these hooks right here so what you see in front of you are my favorite hooks right here this is these are my favorite hooks and these my friends are my hero hooks i've never owned a complete set i almost did but my set got thrown away by accident so what i have here are my three hero hooks I have two J's. One is very, very used and tattered. And then the other one is in decent shape. You can't really see it. The camera's not catching it, but the, the, the wear and tear is very visible in person. I mean, you can see a little bit right there. And then my uh, G hook here has some wear and tear on it as well. But the one thing that I really like about the, my favorite hooks is the beveling. It makes working with them so nice on the sides here. You can really see it on this one. The beveling there it makes it really nice to work with. Um, so these two J hooks were made in Germany. And this hook here was made in the US of A. So those are my favorite hooks right there. I keep them in a box <laughs> just so I don't lose these. And yeah, um, some honorable mentions, ones that I will use. They're not my favorites, but I will use them are the Susan Bates hooks. Let me just pull some of these out, out of my situation here. Okay, so these hooks are honorable mentions, um, Susan Bates. I have used these for years. Um, my aunt taught me how to crochet with these hooks, and it took a lot of practice, <laughs> but I got it. If you notice, these do not have the beveling. It's straight line all the way around. And it has a flat edge. These are worked, you work the yarn a little differently. 
Um, but with practice, it works out quite nicely. Now, this set here was made in India. And my older Susan Bates hooks were all made in Mexico. And to be perfectly honest with you, they're exactly the same. The newer ones and the older ones. The only notable difference is <clears throat> the tint. And you can barely notice the tint of the color. But the actual design, all, the, all of that, is exactly the same. <clears throat> the consistency is very nice. So Susan Bates is definitely an honorable mention here. Another honorable mention are the Clover Amore hooks. So I have the full complete set. I just pulled out the six millimeter hook. Um, you should be able to see it on the handle there. Clover, six millimeter, USJ. And you have the three holes in the back. Um, there are a lot of imitations out there. You just want to make sure that the holes are there. Um, and Japan. They're made in Japan. So a set, of, uh, a set of these can literally run you up to $90, depending on where you get them. If you don't catch a sale and you buy them at regular price, it can go up to $90. Um, I got mine off of Amazon for half that. So I always love a good bargain. So I paid like $45 for my set. And I have a four millimeter. I think I got smaller than that. 2.75 millimeter, I believe, is the smallest one that I have here. A C. Wait a minute. It might be smaller than that. 2.25 letter B is the smallest uh, clover hook I have. The only drawback to these, and the reason why they're not higher on my list, is the size. I have big hands, the hook is very little. And when I crochet, I get the end of the hook in the middle of my hand. And it's just very uncomfortable for me. I try to go to the side, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right, guys, so. Here they sit. Every now and again I'll play with them, but I won't get into a big project with them because the size of the hook is too small. I mean, if you compare what I always use to what these are, there's a significant difference. <laughs> so that's why they're just an honorable mention. Okay, so now we are going to get into the hooks that I particularly do not care for, but happen to have. Right here. So, the Walmart set of boy hooks and the Amazon set of boy hooks and needles here. I think they're tatting needles, I'm not sure. Maybe they're just extra small crochet hooks, I don't know. But in either case, they're very difficult to work with. Now, I say this with the understanding that the older boy hooks are much better than these. These are recent purchases. And I mean, when you compare the older to the more recent, I mean, obviously the color is a little different, but also the point in the front, it's more pointed. It's not blunt like it is on this side here. Um, it's just a better, the older hooks are better hooks than the recent ones and the to be honest with you the older you go with the boy hooks the better the hook is for some reason these newer hooks just aren't as good quality as the um, older hooks nonetheless i mean i don't I, I think the older hooks were made in the u.s but these more recent hooks even this th these were all made in china um this set here um, dates back to 2011 and I think that I purchased this about 2012 so just over 10 years I've had these this has been just a few months and 
I literally bought these to eventually do a comparison. So I've done my comparison. They have fulfilled their purpose. <laughs> um, and in the package is where they'll stay until I absolutely need a hook. Okay. Some honorable mentions, but lower on my list, obviously, is the boy hooks. Um, the older ones are nice. I just wish that I had a vintage set made here in the U.S. Um, I'm looking out on eBay and all the things to see if I can acquire a set of those because I want to do a comparison. I can almost guarantee you the U.S. hooks from Boy, the vintage ones, are even better than these. Um, I can tell you that for sure. My mom has a set, but she won't <laughs> release them to me. They're her pride and joy, so I'm going to leave her with those. Um, one of the surprising hooks that are lower on my list is the Furls hook. And I just, I mean, I bought this hook. It is their Zodiac series. Um, I have the Leo hook in the letter I, otherwise five and a half millimeter. And the reason why I can't really get into this as much as other people can is, I mean, the actual hook just doesn't compare to what I am used to using. It's the, the shape of the hook just really isn't as ergonomic as what I am used to. There's no beveling on the side. It's just flat. It's, it's just like, it's, I don't know. It's just not friendly to work with. Um, and a lot of people who use these, you know, they're just used to using it. So they don't really see uh, what I'm talking about, but and they'll go to the ends of the earth to talk about how amazing these hooks are. And to be honest with you, I love that for them. I mean, different strokes for different folks. But for me, this is lower on my list. It's not my least favorite, which I'll bring my least favorite back. <laughs> it's definitely not this. But I would say on a scale from 1 to a 10, this sits at about a 4 for me. Because although it's ergonomic, what's the use of it being ergonomic if I'm not having simplicity with the actual hook? It's just too challenging for me to use. So, in the box is where it goes. And that's where it will stay. Maybe someday it'll be a collector's item. I'm not sure. Okay, so middle of the pack. Yarnology from Hobby Lobby. $3.99 for this whole set. It's a great deal for the buy um the reason why it's the middle of the pack is because it's not quite as good as my other ones but it's not quite as bad as these recent boy hooks and what i will tell you is there's beveling on the sides it's ever so slight but it's there and it's not a bad hook to work with so for 3.99 you're getting good value so I recommend these. If you're in Hobby Lobby and you're in their yarn section, I mean, it's four bucks. Why not give them a try? Um, yeah, good value for the money, but middle of the road for me because I have other hooks that are absolutely amazing. And yes, so there you have that. Um, I have some internet purchases that I made. Um, I can leave it or take it. I have this set here. I've seen other content creators using these hooks. They're okay. The only drawback, there's two drawbacks. One, there's no beveling on the side, which means it's there's going to be a lot of slipping. The other part is, is that there's a lot of this happening when you're crocheting because you're making up for the lack of the beveling. It doesn't grab the yarn like it should. So you'll see people roll the hook or they'll overcompensate with their wrist. There's no need for that if you have beveling in the head of your hook, in my opinion. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but just in my years of experience, my hooks that have a bevel, they're amazing and they don't slip as much. I mean, you're going to slip regardless, but it's more comfortable to work with. Even these vintage hooks have beveling and they're a dream to work with. Absolutely amazing to work with. So let's roll that back up, put that back. And then I have my Yarnus Beechwood hooks. Now, I got these on Amazon Prime Day. It was a deal. 
So I got the smaller set and the larger set. This smaller set here looks like this, and it starts with a three millimeter hook and it goes up to a six millimeter hook. It gives me fur, uh, furls vibes here, like the furls hooks, um, but they're definitely not furls hooks. <laughs> Um, there is no beveling on any of these. Um, it's just the, yeah, that's kind of what they look like. The good thing about the smaller set is the smaller hooks are a lot easier to work with than the larger hooks. The larger hooks I find to be more difficult to work with. I mean, there's indentations, but no real beveling happening to hold the yarn and keep it from slipping out as you're working it. Again, with these hooks, you have to overcompensate by rolling. And when you're making a queen or a king size blanket, I mean, this gets very tiresome. You want something streamlined to be able to work with to get through your project without having to over overcompensate. Sorry, guys. So, back in the pack, they go. And let me just roll these closed. And I want to say, these are also middle of the pack. Like, for bigger project, projects, I will use these, but with silent protest. <laughs> um, and then finally, I have these hooks I got from Timu. They were made in China. And I will not use these. Actually, these tie in with my boy hooks. Look at that quality. I mean, did they run this under a truck before they packed it? I'm just saying. It's just giving me all of the things that I don't expect out of a needle. Or out of a hook, I'm sorry. Um, some are better than others, but you still have a situation here. Every hook has a story. Look at the back of that one. <laughs> there's no... Look, there's a slight bevel. Um, but yeah. Let's see what's up with this one. Yeah, you have some things going on in the back there. It's just not smooth. It looks like they took a knife and just chipped away at it and then painted it and put it in a bag. Yeah. Mm. Not a fan, guys. And then, of course, there's the pink. Which, okay, that's not what we're talking about, but it just puts me in a bad place when you see pink in my, in my collection. I'm like, mmm... I'm getting it because I want to test it. I'm not too concerned about the color at this point. But, yes. Um, these are definite no. No thank you from me. I paid $3 for this set on Timu. And I got $3 worth of hooks. Actually, no. I got less than $3 worth of hooks. I wouldn't even pay $3 for these. Nope. So, this is my bad pile. I highly do not recommend these. If you want to go with boy hooks, go with the older ones. The older hooks, especially the ones made in the U.S., are amazing. I don't have any of those to show. But the boy hooks, the ones that were recently made, the ones that were made in China, um, February 13, 2023, these are just not good quality hooks. And then Timu, made in China. No good. Um, again, my favorite hooks are the prim hooks, as well as my babies, my hero hooks. So those are my favorites. These are my least favorites. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> that is the hook review in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please give me a like. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed and also hit that notification bell to stay current with all things regarding me and my channel. So until the next one, guys, take care.